Hello everyone, today I will be talking about Kayuki at just slight request. I've gotten like a couple comments about this level, but I'm still making a video on this level because I genuinely think that it deserves more attention. And while I am glad that it is getting the attention that it currently is, I still think it's one of the coolest levels that we've gotten in recent memory, at least in the top 10. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit maybe 9,000 subscribers before the end of the month, maybe 10k, I, I don't know. Uh, I just work here. I mean, I'm uploading every other day because, you know, December moment, so you know, maybe you should. Also, if you would like to see the collab video I recently did with Tried on his amazing, outstanding, one-of-a-kind upcoming Top 1 Kratos, then link is in the description. So starting off with the gameplay, I obviously can't judge how fun the gameplay is because I'm not near the skill level that is required to beat this level or even make progress on it. However, I do know in terms of difficulty, this was much more difficult than expected. Some people were saying that it is Top 1. I'm not entirely sure if it is Top 1 or not. We'll discuss that a little bit more later, but honestly, I don't really care whether this is Top 1 or not. It could even be top 10. I don't really know for sure where it will exactly place, but that's not really the point of this video anyways. Overall, I think the gameplay very much syncs well with the song, which makes it at least very enjoyable to watch. It has a lot of very unique structuring, and it flows very differently to most gameplay that I've seen in Extreme Demons recently, and it has different ideas other than just straight fly and wave spam, which is amazing, and also full range of game modes, which is always helpful. In terms of decoration, this level is sort of like a glow style, but it is blended with lots of synced effects and intense pulses that also sync with the music, which really emphasizes the song, which is Creo. It's, it's a Creo song, so of course that's that's always a plus. A Creo song immediately makes the level better, all, all, like every time. I guarantee not as many people would like Zodiac if it didn't have a Creo song. Like it's just, Creo's just that good at making music. And on top of this, this was all done solo. I would be somewhat impressed if this was, you know, a mega collab with tons of creators and tons of upgraders and things like that, but this was all done by one person and verified by one person, which is almost unheard of these days, considering that pretty much every level that is in the top 20 is a mega collab of some kind. So the fact that not only was this decorated solo, but also verified solo is just amazing to me. I think it really shows that this level was very much sort of a passion project instead of just, you know, your average, here's a top one, watch this video. I really wish we got more levels like Kuyuki that were more made out of passion than just top one to be top one. And this wasn't even really meant to be top one. And if it does end up being top one, that's great, but it doesn't really have to because the main purpose of the level is not to be top one. So if he, even if it does place top one and inevitably falls to the number two spot, it still is a fulfilling level. Leave the view grabbing to me, that's my job. There is one question that obviously everyone is asking. Is it top one? So I will briefly mention a little bit of a discussion of, is this level top one? Honestly, at this point, we could end up having Akron be another slaughterhouse and just have Kayuki, you know, be placed at number one for a little bit and then get swapped. Um, but honestly, I, I, I don't really care because levels don't need to be top ones to be good levels. I've said this with Limbo too. And while I do hope that this does place at number one, just because I think it's a better representation of the community than Akron is, I still wouldn't really care if it places top two or top five or even top 10. Regardless of where it places, it's going to bring the average of quality in the top 10 up by like a couple points at least, like the partially just because the bar has been set so low. If it is top one, I do think it'd be the best top one since maybe at least Zodiac, but that's partially just because the bar has been set so low by like every level since Zodiac. Cut what I call this the best level in our top 10 currently. Well, no, I still think Limbo is a better level in general, but it would definitely be in second place. Looking forward, I hope to see more levels like this, you know, in the top 10 or just in general, because these levels are much more interesting to see sort of pop up. And I'm glad that this level is starting to get the attention that it deserves because it's been so underrated for so long. Another underrated level would be like Ruthless if you guys want a video on that. But yeah, overall, I think this is a very good level and I'm glad that more interesting levels are being verified now. So um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Also, by the way, just like three days ago, I started this open verification on my second channel. This is the joke ripoff of Acheron called Crackeron, and like not even a week into it, some guy already verified it, so the link to the verification video on his channel will be in the description. Go subscribe to him, he's insane. I mean, he put up with probably the least bounced levels since like Sukup and Circles, so. And he beat it in like three days, and it's like bloodbath difficulty, so. So go watch that if you're interested. If you would like to join my Discord server, that is an option, because I will put the link in the description. Just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you in the next one.